outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas round me, I and a guy, gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by, I'm outside in an AMG. channel today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be another weekly vlog i am starting a kind of weekly vlog series called the like living along weekly vlog so just taking you guys along with me for each week or as many weeks as i can possibly record and kind of just get a little bit more better understanding of me and my personality and just my day-to-day -day, everyday life or just being my business whichever so today is actually sunday january 14th it has snowed so much today like for arkansas basically we're in a blizzard like it's just that so it's really cold right now my heat is literally on like 75 76 girl but like in this open area it's still cold if you're new here hey girl my name is Akira Janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave we would love to have you okay and we are trying to get to 50k and then 100k ultimate go so right now i wanted to i wanted to start this vlog way earlier today like i said it's sunday night it's 10 56 almost 11 o'clock at night um i've been recording this wig review <laughs> um do my makeup and then i also went ahead and just recorded a quick little shein haul like the clothes that y'all when did i show y'all them clothes um i think my last vlog my last weekly vlog when did i show y'all them clothes girl Oh, my spend the weekend with me. I did um, a Shein haul in that one. So I'll pop it up. Um, so those clothes, I like, did the try on portion of that to be able to post like a reel in TikTok. And I'm also going to post it to YouTube in like a YouTube shorts video. And then when I do that, that's when I'm going to have the links for you guys. I know some of y'all was asking about some of the stuff. I'm sorry. I have to actually make a video first and then like post them. Anyways, I have the links for y'all when I post that. So this weekly vlog we're going to start off with some more apartment activities home decor all of that type of stuff um i just got a amazon well i got an amazon package delivered to me a few days ago we're going to go ahead i already opened it but i'm going to show you guys what i got that's why i wanted to start this video a lot earlier today because i wanted to start working on all of my stuff and girl it is like probably three to four inches of snow out there so the first thing that i got um in my little amazon box is this i think i was telling y'all about this um it's a no stud tv hanger so you don't need any studs anything like that no drill nothing you just need nails and yeah it is 26 to 55 inches um it holds 80 pounds i do have a 55 inch tv and i was going through the reviews trying to see if anybody else was mounting like a 55 inch tv seeing if it actually you know works out um, a few of y'all commented in that video whenever I was talking about this saying that y'all also had one of these and it actually held up your TV. So I went, I got mine from Best Buy. I looked up online at Best Buy. My TV is 22 pounds. It says product weight without the stand. So my TV is only 22 pounds and it says it holds up to 80. So the reason why I got this is because I wanted to, I want to mount both my TVs, but I was going to go ahead and mount this little bitty TV. It's like a 43 inch or something. I was going to go ahead and mount that by myself because I can easily pick this TV up and stuff like by myself. But on the back of this TV, I forgot, I literally already have, I don't know if y'all can see, I literally already have a mount on this TV. So the only thing that I need is like the screws to go like to actually mount it. So the mount is on this TV. I just need the screws for it. So I'm going to try to go. <clears throat> To like Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, I don't know, something like that. And trying to figure out what mount I have and then see what actually like nails or screws or whatever that I need. Um, so this one I'm going to use actually for my bedroom TV. My bedroom TV is a 55 inch. And yeah, we're going to be mounting this. Um, I wanted to do it today, but my boyfriend didn't actually come by because like I said, it was a snowstorm, winter storm. So we're going to try to mount this by ourselves tomorrow before I go to work. We're going to see how that turns out. Next thing I got is literally just a... Uh, um, curtain rod i really like this one this is the one that's in my bedroom if you guys have been subscribed to me for a little while 
this is one this is not like a normal curtain rod this is the type that you have to screw together and i like this one because you know normal curtain rods you literally have to like pull to like make it longer or like pull it in to make it shorter this one is the one that you literally just screw into each other and these are like so sturdy like they're not going nowhere so you just screw them in it's about one two three four it's five pieces and then they also have a um extender piece so this piece is one that you add if your like window width or whatever is like really long or short. You can just customize it to what you need. So I really, really like this. It'll be linked to my Amazon. It's already linked to my Amazon storefront, but I like these type of curtain rods because they just, they're sturdy. They just work better in my opinion. And they're so easy, especially if you're like moving. Y'all know I move every year. Not moving this year though, but I do move. I move it every year. So just unscrewing this and just packing these up like this was definitely so much easier than trying to you know take around actual curtain rods and stuff and it just comes with everything that you need so i was one like i said i wanted to put that up today but it's already 11 o'clock at night i ain't about to be drilling in the walls at 11 o'clock so i'm just gonna save it for tomorrow and then the other thing that i got for the living room to kind of get this room finished because i do actually want to record a official uh, apartment tour for you guys like fully furnished i got some more curtains I already have these exact white curtains that was in my last apartment, if you guys been following me for that long. Um, but they're a little bit shorter than what I wanted. Like I said in the last vlog, I want floor to ceiling curtains. So these are 108. These are 52 by 108. And these are the exact same dimensions as my curtains that's in my bedroom. So super excited to put these up to kind of get it, you know, more homey in here and looking real nice. These are blackout curtains. Um, they are white, but they are blacked out and they really do black out the sun. Like I said, I've had these for over a year in a shorter length and I absolutely love them. They do what they need to do. I decided to get white curtains for my living room because obviously my couch is black and then, you know, I got the white pillows and stuff. Some of y'all was telling me in the last vlog to just take uh the pillow the fluffy pillow out but a lot of y'all was just saying keep it and like wash the pillow so it's like i'm torn i don't know what to do but when i go back to home goods or somewhere i am going to try to find some like neutral tannish brown type of pillows to kind of tie in everything else that i got going but i do want to keep that knot pillow so those are like a white white and i feel like these are matching that white like the pillow it don't match the pillow but it definitely matched that knot pillow so i feel like these curtains will bring the knot pillow and everything together and i'll try to go search for some new pillows so these are really really long so right now i'm looking on my amazon cart because girl i'm about to buy some more stuff <laughs> not right now i'm trying to make sure that i have everything that i need or want before i actually like push check out um i have 11 items in my car right now really it's gonna be 12 because i do need another um computer chair the one i have right now is just uncomfortable like it served its purpose but it has no armrest like the cushion is kind of hard like it's just all around horrible so i do have one in my um not my cart but like my save for later it is a hundred and well it's 185 dollars but they have a 20 dollar off coupon good morning y'all it is 148 well good evening it's the next day it is monday january 15th if i'm not mistaken and i am about to put up my curtains we're gonna get started right with a bang get my apartment together with this weekly vlog so i showed y'all last night my new well the curtain rod that i absolutely love from amazon i got it right here i also like buying this brand curtain rod because these hooks like for the rod are um adjustable so basically this is what you drill into the wall and then this one can move from side to side so it can turn this way this way and it can also it can also be longer or shorter in length as well so i really really like this brand like i said it'll be linked down below so it's really nice quality as well Pull my ear over so that i don't knock that down or what have you Ugh. i know this length is going to be so this is just me trying to figure out like the middle point or whatever. So basically I'm gonna drill it in, not right at the, um, not baseboard, like not right at the edge. Cause I've made the mistake of drilling it right at the edge in my bedroom. I'm actually gonna put this one a little bit further out, kind of closer to this end. So about an inch from 
the edge is what I'm gonna do. going to measure out this time I normally never measure anything but I do want it to be a little bit equal on both sides so I already measured out the top I did about two inches well actually I did exactly two inches from the top of the ceiling down to where that first little black piece is and then from the edge this way it's exactly a little bit over three inches so I'm gonna mark on this side where that's at um, I don't really know how I'm about to get up there <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> oh, oh, easier than this so I'm about to put the curtains on the rod So I have a steamer because I cannot deal with the wrinkles like my bedroom cool I don't care but since this is actually in my living room this is so wrinkly so I'm gonna have to steam it so while my steamer is heating up she is loud as you can hear I'm finally putting her to use I bought it from Marshall's about three or four months ago you only used it once so this is like extremely wrinkled we're going to get that all the way together I might end up doing my bedroom but I just cannot look at the white being wrinkled I think she's ready. Y'all have a better way of doing this? Please comment down below and let me know. Because I'm not sure. still needs to be steamed a lot more but this side is definitely looking a lot better than this side i will say um my steamer is fairly small now that i actually kind of know how to steam i will probably invest in a bigger one because it definitely makes a difference so i'm just going to continue steaming girl why is this <laughs> i kid y'all not the dang steamer is like busting out i guess i overflowed it or something Look at all that water right there. You gotta be kidding me. So I did the best I could. Obviously, it still has a few wrinkles. I did it for about uh, 40 minutes. My thing is so small, so I had to refill that three times, but I think it looks a lot better than it did. I'll probably do some more tomorrow, but girl, I am tired of doing that. I kind of want to move on and do my TV. It's already about to be three o'clock. It's 2.52, and yeah. It's 3.03. I got to be at work at 6.30 today. I'm going to leave out at like 5.30 heading to work, so we got... A little bit more time together today which is monday i am about to <laughs> try to install this girl the no stud tv hanger i already explained all this to y'all i so. will say recording for all like three platforms is a little much <laughs> i do plan to start a like moving series or whatever apartment series on tiktok and instagram as well 
um because i do see that does really well on like my tiktok and all of that like all of my home decor and like amazon hauls and stuff have up to like 200k views so yeah that's what i'm about to get into so these are girl mm. <laughs> let's see So why I didn't got lucky and I automatically uh, pulled out the right bolt <laughs> for it. Now I forgot which one I can use here. So I kind of have a advantage when it comes to <coughs> um, mounting the TV because I already have a um, cord hider or whatever. So with doing this, this will be leveled because this is already leveled. I'm just going to mount it right above this. Um, I think when it hangs, cause I may go like maybe right up here. I don't know. I kind of want to just do it right here and see where it'll hang from. So I'm going to go ahead and just nail the middle one in. Sweatpants right here in the little cracks. So the leveler don't drop back down there. Probably started with that but it's all. I got is trying to hear me oh yeah I spilled all my emotions tonight I'm sorry rolling 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 how many more shots until you're rolling we just need a face to face you can pick the time and the place you will spend some time away all right, here goes nothing. So well, it is 4 17 like i said i'm starting to get ready for work at like five o'clock but i'm about to go ahead and take a shower and stuff and clean up my mess from putting up my curtains and my freaking tv today um i already started my car from my app y'all know the kia whatever the new key is you can start it from your app so when you start it from the app it only stays on for 10 minutes so i just want to kind of heat it up just a little bit and then when i do decide to take prince downstairs i'll probably take him downstairs at around it's 4 17 um i'll probably clean all this up i'll take him down around like 4 like 4 40 4 45 and then i'm gonna turn it on from my actual key fob and from my key actually i'm gonna take him down at like 4 30 from my key fob when I start my car, it'll stay on. I can either set it for 30 minutes or for an hour. I have mine set for 30 minutes right now. So at 4.30, I'm gonna go down there, set it, and then it'll turn off by itself at five o'clock. And then I'll finish getting ready and stuff. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start it up again from my phone. And then it'll stay on an additional 10 minutes. So by that time, my car should be well defrosted and warmed up. <laughs> and that'll give me enough time to go ahead and get out on the road. Um, I can see like the highway and stuff from my apartment so i see people you know driving on the highway i think the highway is obviously clear um it's just i got like kind of a side road to kind of go down but i've been seeing people drive on that all day so i still want to kind of get out before it just gets pitch black so about like 5 30 it's kind of already kind of dark so i do want to leave out like right at 5 30 because when it hits six o'clock baby it'll be pitch black so i would like to leave the house at 5 30 go ahead and get to work pretty early get there get settled the quicker i get to work the quicker i can leave that's how i look at it and plus only work two days a week so it's all fine and dandy so yeah i'm about to um clean up my mess and that was pretty easy and straightforward honestly um I know every day I'm probably going to be checking this because this is just crazy that it's literally up here with like nails and stuff. But girl, let me turn this ring light off. It's just not working for me. But yeah, it just looks so nice. Like now I can lay down and watch TV. And then when me and Bae is cuddling, like when the TV was down here, it wasn't bad. But when I like 
this is my size so when i lay on him and trying to look this way at the tv like the cover and stuff you know from like our body it'll just you know i just can't see the tv good obviously so yeah i'm excited about to clean up my mess and i'll probably talk to y'all like i said i'm probably not gonna vlog um obviously tomorrow because i'm gonna be sleep all day um and i don't know if i'm gonna wear this wig to work or put on my scrub cap because i don't know it's just looking a little bit like it's obviously so dang poofy but it's just looking a little bit too too wiggish without like my face done i don't know like so it is like 5 10 i'm putting on these very very long socks because it's cold it's like 16 degrees outside i want to say these were actually some socks that i had got in like a halloween costume maybe for like my referee yeah when i was a referee i think and i literally just kept them because i mean they're long socks and i know <clears throat> i'll probably need them one time so the pants the scrub pants that i'm wearing today are uh should have worked flair they're like skinny like uh skinny uh scrub legs so i'm gonna have to <laughs> pull these up by obviously taking down my pants again and as y'all can see i'm wearing my scrub cap not wearing no wig and then today these scrub caps i got in my amazon storefront if you want them i'm wearing a long sleeve white shirt this is actually kind of getting too small it's a size large but girl it's fitting tight y'all know i didn't i'm a size medium now but it must be a large in uh kids or something <clears throat> and then i already have macaroni made from last night so i'm about to just put that chicken breast on top of the stove really really quickly um get that warm and then that's gonna be my lunch for tonight uh, because obviously ain't nobody door dashing and stuff at this time. Girl, these uh, socks go all the way up past my knees. <laughs> like, your girl is about to be warm, okay? <clears throat> Can't show y'all because obviously my pants are down. But they go up past my knees. Because I didn't want to wear, uh, like, leggings or something under my scrubs. Because I do be getting hot. Like, dealing with all these patients, picking them up, turning them, flipping them. You get hot, so I just wanted to put on some very long socks. The socks go up past my knees, so they're long as hell. And then I got my long sleeve on and stuff like that. So, about to put my watch on. I already took Prince outside my car. I'm not sure if it's still running or not. I got to check my app because I went down there and did it from my key fob, so it should be on for about 30 minutes. Got my AirPods, my phone. Charger, if y'all want a full in-depth video of like what i do at my job i did a video like a month month and a half ago so i'll put pop that in right here or something you can go check out all right looking warm feeling warm and smelling good these glasses today and I like these cuz you know they got the little button where you put your mask in all right to get my food together in my bag and I am going to be on my way hey y'all today is the Wednesday January 17th I don't remember the last time I checked in with y'all it might have been two days ago when I was first going to work on Monday it is 6 52 in the evening I look a mess <laughs> but I'm actually about to do my natural hair i did want to record the q a video today to be able to post tomorrow but i'll probably just wake up early in the morning and do that um and then edit that and then upload that for my thursday upload and then this vlog y'all watching now will be uploaded on sunday for the weekly vlog so my hair looks absolutely uh, my hair <laughs> looks an absolute mess under this hat i'm about to shampoo condition deep condition my hair um blow dry and flat iron i'm not going to do like the whole process i'm just going to Kind of walk y'all through it because i don't really feel like showing y'all me shampoo and condition my hair because i haven't washed my hair since november because i had my sewing in since november and i just took it out last week so my hair needs a lot of tlc i did a um target pickup like two days ago didn't take y'all long because i mean just went and picked it up i got the 
Taraji P. Hansen Master Cleanse and Target Scalp Wash. Wanted to try this out. It had really good reviews, so hopefully it works really nice. And I also wanted it for this applicator right here to really get up in there in my scalp since I haven't actually got to my scalp since November. But obviously, I like to wash my sew-in and stuff. But anyways, I got the Make It Rain Hydrating Rich Conditioner. Same brand, just a different collection. Um, I specifically wanted this one and specifically wanted this one. After I use those, I'm going to cleanse twice and then I'm going to condition my hair once. And I'll tell you how I like these products. This one, Odie with a goodie, literally the OG. This makes my hair extremely soft for a deep condition. I like to put this in my hair and leave it in there for about 15, it's say like 15, 20 minutes. I do about 20, 30 minutes sometimes under my hooded dryer. Um, I have a hooded dryer right up here. As y'all can see that it's a Conier hooded dryer. Um, my dad actually gave me that a few years ago. So if you don't have a hooded dryer, they have one on Amazon to where it's like a big like shower cap and you just use it like that. And that's a lot cheaper than that one. And then after I deep condition, I'm going to obviously blow dry and flutter my hair. I also love to use this Mia oil. I've been using this for about two years now. And then y'all know for Christmas, my cousin Diana got me the T3 Curling Iron and the T3 um, Blow Dryer. Super excited to use this. Um, I was about to go out <laughs> and buy the T3 Flat Iron or the Bliss, the Baby Bliss Flat Iron. But I'm like, Akira, just use the ones you got. They're not the best, but they're obviously not the worst either. This one I've gotten from Walmart and then this one was sent to me. So I'm gonna be going back and forth between these two and yeah i'll come back to y'all once my hair is like taken down out of my cleo braids under here to kind of show y'all how my hair looks and then we'll come back after i actually shampoo condition and all of that <laughs> So my hair is completely dry and when I tell y'all this T3, she goes crazy. Like this is the best flat iron. I mean not flat iron, the best blow dryer I've ever used. The curling iron is the best one I've ever used and I really need to go buy the flat iron as well. Um, and on this side, y'all know I talked about it before, my hair is definitely uneven. Like this side is like basically all one length. This one isn't. I got my hair dyed blonde and I did a side part. So basically on this side was the part. This side she cut shorter to kind of make that little like bob type of effect, I guess. So I am trying to still grow this side back as well as I had a... um side part closure sew in and it also broke off my hair so this side we're struggling that's why i'm about to get a um lace closure sew in like at the end of this month so we can be a little bit better with that but that is where this comes into play my hair has grown back tremendously so i'm going to be putting a little bit of this on not too much because obviously we don't want our hair to be oily so i do like to do the middle of my head right here at the part and then just put that through and then i have been doing this side here i'm going to put it on my hand though and then rub that in and just pull it through here and kind of get into my scalp <laughs>
y'all today is january 18th it is 4 28 in the evening i'm actually about to cook me only thing i ate today was some pizza rolls so i'm about to cook me some chicken nuggets and homemade fries um i buy the y'all know the brand it's the chick-fil-a duke nuggets that you can get from costco and I absolutely love this brand they taste so good so i'm about to do that and then cook some homemade potatoes well homemade fries with some potatoes um I don't know the last time I talked. I think I talked to y'all yesterday before when I was about to do my hair or when I was doing my hair. My camera died. Hair is done and flat ironed. Um, I just want to come on here and say I don't really care for the products that I use. <laughs> I wanted to tell y'all about it because I'm going to go. I'm not leaving the house today because it's already 427. I do plan to wake up tomorrow early, but I think I'm going to go ahead and take back that Taraji P. Henson um, like shampoo, the cleanser, because I feel like it just has my hair like it stripped my hair and it just seems really really dry even with using the miel deep um conditioner um my hair mask my hair used to be like flowy which i mean it's still flowy my hair is flat like yeah it looks good it's just my ends my hairstylist clipped my ends before my sewing and stuff but my ends just seem so brittle and dry and i had to put oil in my hair today and i normally don't even have to put oil in my hair until like four or five days like the first week so yeah i'm gonna take back that cleanser i'm not really a fan of it the conditioner i mean the conditioner is not nothing either to hype about honestly um i don't know i, I know i'm for sure talking about the cleanser i kind of want to try the conditioner again because the smell smells amazing like my hair smells so good it smells like i spray perfume in my hair and i didn't even do that so i think i kind of want to keep the conditioner just for that but i think i may just go ahead and stick to miel um i even have to use my aussie uh like shampoo to get like a good lather because that cleanser from taraji p henson it doesn't have a really big lap um lather which is cool but i like a lot i like i like lather okay so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and return it but i'm not doing nothing until tomorrow today i'm gonna um clean up a little bit i just got done recording a video is why i got on makeup and stuff um i recorded a q a so you should have seen that by now if not go check it out um i'm posting it today thursday the 18th so y'all gonna see this on sunday so go check it out if you haven't seen it and yeah i'm just gonna make me a list for all the stuff that i gotta do tomorrow i'm gonna go i'm gonna do a grocery pickup tomorrow now y'all want me to go in the store i'm not going especially because somebody just got shot at walmart not the walmart i'll be going to but someone got shot at walmart here in little rock mm -mm. i'm gonna continue to pick up okay okay <laughs> so i'm gonna do that uh, i think i want to get some stuff from costco as well i may just do a pickup from walmart and costco um i posted my restock video in january but i actually restocked in december so that whole like the food that i bought i still got some macaroni and stuff but like my drinks and you know the stuff that i eat like on an everyday basis is gone i need some more butter i need some more milk um i got a list over there that i need and i kind of want i want i'm crazy i've been craving some ribs and some steaks so that's what i'm about to buy my next grocery shopping haul and i forgot i do have this chuck pot roast so i'm gonna make roast tomorrow um so yeah, only thing I want to buy is I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some ribs, I'm gonna get some steak, I got a roast, and I want some chicken as well. And then that should last me throughout February. Are you talking to me? Oh. No. Okay. <laughs> and that should last me throughout February. I still want to do my meal prep um, with my chicken breast. Like I said, I calculated that in the last vlog for y'all. That's sixty dollars a month. So I'm gonna put aside sixty dollars and hold that for when i need that for february i think i'm going to actually buy that in february because for the remainder of december i'll probably just eat my roast not december remainder of january it's only the 18th i'll probably buy it. anyways we're gonna do some brush shopping tomorrow um i bought me a new iphone so my iphone should be delivered it got shipped out today say two business days so today and tomorrow is the two business days i should either get it tomorrow evening or saturday morning so probably saturday since two business days um what else Tomorrow we're gonna be going to the at home store. I need some more hangers and yeah, we, we just got some stuff to do tomorrow. Today is just a chill day for me to get my house back in order because I was working at the beginning of this week. And y'all know I can't think in minutes, so I just gotta get myself together. Oh, and I like to cook these chicken nuggets in my air fryer along with my homemade uh, french fries. Or I'm gonna make potato wedges actually. I don't really want french fries. I'm gonna put this over here. Well, how many minutes 
because I gotta cook this for 358 minutes. It say eight minutes, but I like to do about like ten because I like mine a little crisp. January, Friday, January 19th. Um, I just left two banks depositing some money. Um, right now it's 1027 and I do have to be at home by 1230 for a um delivery. My new iPhone 15 is gonna be here. I'm super excited. I still literally have the 11 Pro Max. Like it's time to upgrade because my phone be messing up real bad. Um I don't have my car, I don't know where it's at, so I'm literally <laughs> just holding y'all but it says out for delivery between 12 30 and 3 30. bay is coming over my house after his haircut at 12 so he'll be there by like one o'clock 110. Uh, so i'm trying to finish running all of my errands but i i had to start like right at 10 because the bank bank of america didn't open until 10. i don't use them but like the check i was cashing use them or whatever uh but yeah i need i need gas but i don't feel like going to costco right now i can get it from sam's i got a sam's car i got a sam's card too um, I need to like pick up some groceries. I do need to go to Sam's though for groceries as well. But I'm gonna go to Walmart first, and I also need to go to the at home store. So I'm, Walmart is gonna be my last trip. Right now we're gonna go to the at home store because I do need some more. Um, I run at the house left with my lip gloss. I need some more hangers, and then you know I may dabble around and see what type of pillows and stuff they have because I'm switching out those white fluffy pillows. Um, some of y'all said wash them. Some of y'all said get rid of them completely. Some, one or two people said gray. Um, I'm not doing gray. I used to do gray in like all of my last like three to four apartments. I really hate gray now, so I don't want to do gray anymore. Um, strictly black and white and like neutral browns and stuff. So I'm going to look for some pillows while I'm in there. And I don't think I need anything else. Like I'm literally going in there to just get a box of hangers and to just look at the... Um, pillows that they have because i got everything else that i needed in like home goods and stuff in walmart and then after that we're gonna go to walmart so i can get back to the house um i would like to be back at the house by 12 since they said 12 30 to 3 30 because baby i'm not missing this because i got a sign for this one obviously because it's a phone and that was some quick shipping they said uh two day shipping i ordered it i think i told y'all at like 1 or 2 a.m and then they shipped it out yesterday at 2 p.m and it's already going to be here so that's super litty um yeah i'm in target parking lot right now <laughs> in the parking lot i forgot to bring my freaking the shampoo that i wanted to return the taraji p henson so i can get some miel but i guess i'll either do that later today if i get back out or i'll just do that um tomorrow tomorrow's saturday it feels like today is already like saturday but whatever and we have a lot of amazon stuff coming um i think i have like 13 or 14 <laughs> items coming in like four packages so that's going to be in next week weekly vlog we're going to be doing some more home decor stuff um just getting my apartment how i want it all the stuff that i want so i'm super excited about that and yeah i'm not really sure what i was going to be in this vlog but yeah the big pillow or the small pillow because these ones are the big pillows and compared to this small one or that one I'm not sure what size I want because these are only these are obviously cheaper these are 9 dollars 
compared to 1999. I don't know which one. Found this in here. We'll get into that when I get home. I don't know. Because, I mean, it's definitely smaller. got back from Walmart, did a quick little restock, hamburger buns, hot dog buns, cheese, heavy whipping cream, got a few Lunchables for some snacks. Y'all know I love this brand of sausages. I cook it with almost everything, breakfast, lunch, and dinner meals. Chicken, ribs, been craving them real bad. Got me some steak, been craving that. Ground beef, pizza, as well as a big thing of apples. Needed some more butter, so I just got the big thing because I've been running out of butter when I buy the little ones, so I'm just gonna keep buying the big ones. And then I got some waffle fries. And that is all that I got from Wally World. Um, that little bit of groceries right there, $114. Like, groceries is just so high. Like, this is literally nothing. <laughs> and all of this stuff was like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four, five. The only thing that cost, this was the only thing that cost the most, $14. Everything else was super cheap and it still came out to freaking over a hundred dollars. I just don't understand. So I'm about to put my groceries up and then we're gonna get into my at home haul. All right, quick at home haul. I'm super excited about. I'm tracking my package with UPS. Y'all know I have not been having the best of luck with these freaking delivery services, whether that be UPS, FedEx. Y'all watch my vlog, FedEx left my couch on the first floor, not even by my door. I do not stay on the first floor. And UPS just over the weekend had left my freaking package at four doors down at my neighbor's place. Like it, it's just been a whole ordeal, girl. So I'm following my delivery. And when I put it in to get my iPhone, I put in my, obviously my correct address, apartment number, all of that. And then they send me an email and it also shows my apartment number. Well, I'm checking on the package stuff and it has everything, but it doesn't show my apartment number. And I'm like, how is it not showing my apartment number? But then y'all emailed me and showed my apartment. Like, I, I just don't understand. So I'm literally tracking them. It shows where they're at. Um, my delivery is between 1230 to 3.30. Just whenever they are here, I'm just going to go find them. And then probably just ask them. Because this is an iPhone. Like, this ain't, you know, just no regular whoop the whoop package. Like, this is my iPhone 15 Pro Max. <laughs> so I'm about to track them down, okay? okay. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to show is this. Um, this was actually only $39.99. It's just a little, it's called Ridge Crest Poof. And this has been the best value I've found on anything like this. $40. And y'all know the one that I originally have is this one. This one is pink. I got this in 2020 when I first moved into my apartment where most of y'all found me. Um, so yeah, I've had this since 2020. She's been holding up good. It's like a bing bag on the inside and like rope on the outside. This one is kind of the same bing bag and then just this cute material. Obviously it's black, it matches my aesthetics, my apartment. I can put this in my bedroom or my living room. I may move it around, but for right now, I'm thinking I want it in my living room because I was trying to replace that pink one. It's just so annoying. And I like to kind of prop my feet up on this and just kind of chillax and stuff, so. Super excited to be able to find this really good deal because this one on Amazon, the rope one, was minimum $60. So I'm super excited that I was able to find one that's a lot cheaper than that. Next, I would have liked to got a rope one, but honestly, I think this kind of matches a little bit better. Like, I like that. The next thing I got was, I did not poop, that was my house shoes. <laughs> is these white pillows. So we've been going back and forth with this pillow situation, okay? These were $19.99 each. Um, I feel like this is a white, white pillow, so it'll match better with my not pillows. We're gonna put these on there. I just bought two. I was just gonna buy one, but I'm like, if I end up actually really liking them, I'm gonna be pissed that I only got one. So I got two of these. Whew, we're gonna put that up in a second. Here's the other one. And then my last bag, what I went specifically in the store for, y'all saw me get 
these hangers i love these hangers they're $19.99 they've been $19.99 since i started going there in 2020 it's a 50 pack of hangers this is literally like where i love to get my hangers from the best hangers i mean 50 pack of hangers <laughs> And then the last thing that, that I got is actually for y'all internet nephew, Prince. If you know, you know. I've been searching for a dog bed, specifically a black dog bed for months. Like probably at least five to six months I've been searching for a black dog bed. And like I have not found one in store. Like now, online, online, I found a few like Amazon or whatever, but they're always overly priced. And this one was... $24.99 so I thought that was really nice and then it also has a little right here that you can hang on to a little handle and then I do see a zipper so I believe this is um machine washable it's the brand soft touch easy care bedding wash it it says remove cover and wash cover only Mas machine wash separately in cold water mild detergent yeah so that's also why i decided to get this one because it seems like it'll be an easy cleanup and it's cute i needed a black bed for him to match my obviously home decor because the one he got right now is gray and then the other one i'm not getting rid of the one that's in my guest room um oreo did mess that up but i'm still not getting rid of it because that's the bed that i brought him home in like he's had that since i got him and it's just very sentimental to me and i want him to keep that dog bed forever and i mean he's not getting any bigger he's literally going to be eight pounds for the rest of his life so he can still easily fit into that bed and he right here by me so i know he want this bed um i really wanted this one out in my living room to where he can sit but i don't know i may put it in my room but we'll see it's black so it'll match my decor this is the bed that i have for him right now that i'm kind of over having so i'm either going to put it in my living room like over there in the corner or i'm going to put it in my room for right now i'm going to put it in the room just so i can replace this one Ugh, and we're going to set this up for him it's your new dog bed it's yours <laughs> oh yeah you about to go ham let me take your tag off <laughs> you like your bed I think that's a yes <laughs> I need to get this off okay I'm just trying to take this off <laughs> That is hilarious. That is the cutest thing ever. Like, I have the cutest dog. I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> so, yeah, I think he loves it. <laughs> because why is he already terrorizing the bed? Like... What is all of this? <laughs> what is all of that, little boy? What is all of that? Why are you already messing up the bed? Because I'm about to have to take this back on you. <laughs> Hopefully, it don't mess up too bad. Because I knew he gonna do. I knew he was going to do that, but, you know. Brat, <laughs> you bad. <laughs> all right i'm gonna take this one i used to keep this one outside since it's gray it don't really match anything anymore so i'm gonna put this one back outside on the patio all right we're about to switch out these pillows like these are two different colors as well this is about to stress me out so I feel like the pillow is actual white this not pillow is like a off white you can clearly see the difference so that's gonna bother me I think I need to take them back 
What y'all think? I feel like the at home store had some that was kind of almost like this off white color. I don't know. It's just not doing it. Like it definitely looks better than the um, fluffy pillows, but I don't know. It's still just like the whites just doesn't match to me. So I just went to the office and literally met UPS and got my package. <laughs> he was gonna come to the door, but he said it's gonna save him a few steps if I just go ahead and take it. So that's what I did. I got my new iPhone. I'm so excited. Y'all know your girl been rocking out. Let me show y'all. Your girl been rocking out with the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which she's still cute. She is still in good condition, look real cute. You know, but it's, it's time to upgrade. And this one is paid off, so this, I'm keeping this one, obviously. Okay, I'm gonna do an unboxing, but I really want my camera quality for the unboxing to post on like TikTok and Instagram. So I may just record on my phone and show y'all the unboxing, or I may just put in the clips but yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. All right, Bay cleaning Prince eyes right now. Love him for that. All right, now I'm about to set up my new iPhone, okay? Cause I am super duper excited, y'all. I done came from an iPhone 11 Pro Max to an iPhone 15. Oh, that's what I was supposed to show. All right, Hello. United States. She will tell you would like text and icons to look. The fault. Medium, you know, large icon. We're gonna go to default. <laughs> I ain't that blind. Hey y'all, today is a new day. Um, January, Saturday, January 20th, 12.32 in the afternoon. I've been up for about two hours or so, just about to get out the house. And I got a couple places to run. Today is Saturday, so this weekly vlog will be ending today. But before it ends, we got a few more errands to run together, girl, before next week. And I'm not sure if my camera is like looking dingy or it's just this lighting right now. I don't even have anything to wipe it off with. Okay, anyways, um, update. Loving my new iPhone. Okay, period. Um, my case should come in today from Amazon. Girl, I got like 15, not 15 packages, but like 15 items coming. Today I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items coming. And my, um, it's say from two to four. And my phone case is one of them. So I'm super excited because it did say it wasn't gonna be here till like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, all of my packages. So I guess since the ice and the snow is clearing up, it's actually going back to like two day prime shipping. But yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming. So that's gonna be in next week's vlog. But today I was gonna go to the Apple store because I need a new, um, adapter for my phone charger because this one like y'all know I came from the iPhone 11 uh, Pro Max so this is a different charger and for my AirPods and phone to be charging at the same time I need two different blocks so yeah gotta go to Target for that they just text me and said my pickup order is ready because I don't even feel like I gotta go in Target but I went ahead and did it online just to get it but I forgot I do need to return this shampoo back to Target because I don't like it at all. And then since I'm already gonna be at Target, I'm gonna pick up some Chick-fil-A when I get out of Target. Um, I need to go to Home Goods and the at-home store. The at-home store, I'm taking back those pillows that we bought yesterday because I sent it to my cousin and she was just like, she can't really pinpoint what it is, but like something just looks off. What did she say? Something seems off with both. I can't pinpoint it. And I'm like, I feel like that as well. Like, I already told y'all about it. So, I don't know. I'll probably just end up getting some freaking black pillows. I was trying to find some, like, silver pillows. I know y'all said gray, but I already told y'all I didn't really want gray. But, I don't know. We'll see. Because I don't have anything gray in my apartment. So, that's... And I'm just done with having gray stuff. But, yeah, that's what we gotta do. Um, and my car looks an absolute mess because it is snow and i'm about to check the forecast right now rain monday tuesday wednesday and thursday of next week like thunderstorm 85 percent so it's like if i go get my car clean it's gonna be pointless but 
my car will still look even though it's gonna rain it'll probably get a little bit dirty again but it's not gonna look like how it looks right now so i think i'm about to go to the car wash because my car is disgusting along with a lot of other everybody else car out here it looks absolutely disgusting because of that okay so yeah that's what we're gonna do what is oh i'm not gonna be able to charge my phone in here anymore girl uh, that's the only thing about that okay so now dang and i just bought this iphone charger like a week like maybe like three two months ago okay so i'm gonna have to find me a charger so i can charge my phone in the car because yeah that's not gonna work girl all right let's let's just go to the home store that's our first stop and then i'll talk to y'all when we get to tarjay it is 2 50 in the evening um i just got a package at my clubhouse we have a like amazon hub so i'm about to go get that out that's gonna be the next vlog but i wanted to do a proper ending we didn't go to home goods because girl i forgot it is saturday and if y'all watch my i don't know i don't know if i put it in my last vlog or no, that happened this week. Anyways, this past Sunday, it snowed Sunday. And well, it snowed Sunday, a little bit Monday morning, but it literally, nobody was out. So from the beginning of the week, people just started getting out like Wednesday, Thursday. And it's the first weekend, obviously, since it snowed. So everybody and their mama is out at Costco. Home Goods had no parking spot. They had one parking spot. And I, I just couldn't. Like, y'all know, I like to go in the stores, relax, look around and just read about like i can't that's why i'm glad i did target pickup because i cannot i didn't even go on target to exchange or return my stuff because it's too many people out so maybe tomorrow i will go it's sunday and y'all know people like to be out on sunday as well i may try to go sunday mornings but i don't know um but yeah that's it we'll try to find some pillows and stuff um in the next weekly vlog i hope y'all like this vlog um, like I said, I do have 15 new items coming that's going to be in next week's vlog. We're going to be putting all of my new stuff up, unboxing everything together. I'm super excited to go out and get it. Um, so, yeah, I'll see y'all in my next one. I'm about to just chill, upload this footage that y'all watching now, edit, um, go get my packages, clean up my apartment so it can be clean for the incoming week so I can record content and stuff. And I will see y'all lovelies in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah. Deep, baby. I'm on a plane.